So there's two different structures you're going to have. The first one, the different modes they're going to be in, we call it. The first one is called inverting mode. Okay, so inverting mode. Now, as it suggests, inverting mode inverts the signal. Okay, inverts the signal. So let's have a look at the diagram of what it would be, uh, and let's talk about how it would work. Right, so here is your diagram for an inverted mode amplifier. Um, you've got your two resistors added on, your RN, or can also be known as R1, your feedback resistor which comes back, and you get your voltage in, or your voltage one at the start, and your voltage out, and you still get your supply voltage added on to the operational amplifier to give you the gain that you need. Now, the gain of an operational amplifier, what makes it bigger? The gain is equal to, well, this is an inverting mode amplifier, so the gain is going to be equal to negative RF over R1. This is just what you have to remember. RF over R1. Now, if you were to put that into, uh, um, if you were to look at it in terms of voltages, then that would also equal V out over V in. So that's our gain, first of all. Now, this leads us on to what is the actual formula for an inverting amplifier, which you're given in the exam. Okay, you don't have to remember it. What you do need to remember, you need to remember which part of the formula is the gain. The gain is negative RF over R1. Mm -hmm. So the formula you get in the exam for an operational amplifier is V out over v in, or v1, sorry, this is what you get in the exam, equals negative rf over r1. That's the one you get in the exam. Now, if you rearrange that and you want to know your output, well, you can rearrange that to say, well, v out equals v1 times, or negative v1 times rf over r1, where rf over r1 is your gain. That's just a way of rearranging it to get the output given the input. So all this amplifier is doing is taking your input, making it negative, and then amplifying it. And the gain is RF over R1. That's all it's doing. It's not trying to confuse you. All it's saying is this is your gain. An inverting mode amplifier is going to invert it and amplify it. Is there any questions so far? There's a lot to take in. It's quite a lot of little bits of information. And once you see some password questions in them, you'll see what piece of information you need to remember, as opposed to what's just, um, what's extra. So that is an inverting mode amplifier. So as I said to you before, I've already given you the basic diagram of an op amp. I've given you the rules. I've given you the diagram for inverting mode, which you need to be familiar with, and I've given you the formula for inverting mode, which you also need to be familiar with, but you don't need to remember. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and give you differential mode as well, which is the op other, other mode it can be in, and you'll see the clear differences that are between them. And you need to be familiar with the two different types.